I like how her bib is like a New Year's Eve. Hang on. <laughs> a New Year's Eve bib. Look at this cat workout. Dang. Show everybody your little teeths. Your little teeths. Well, cheers to surviving the first five months. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> All right, so. Pull up my questions here. You guys didn't hold back and ask some questions. Um, we figured this was a good day because we were literally all three sick right now. So, and case in point, poor baby, her like eyes are just like red. She's got two little teeth coming through the bottom. They're so cute. What dad took to your little toy away? What happened? What happened? Yes, so we're all um, kind of sick. I have like PJs on waist below. So if we if you hear some coughing and some stuffiness, that's, yeah, we're just, we're sick today. This is the first time she's been sick ever, actually. So it's been a little miserable, but I think she's been handling low champ breathing. Yeah, she's doing good. A little cranky, but. Go cranky. So are we. <laughs> that's why you took it away. Because <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> Let me get something a little less loud. <laughs> Bash it. Bash it. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna jump into it and you can answer these truthfully. Um, I promise not to get my feelings hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my hormones are not going to be back to normal until a year after she's been born. You know that, right? That's what yeah. our counselor told us. Yes, act like you're focusing on the draft. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> do, uh, well, first of all, there was a comment where someone said Nick is crushing it, so I thought that was sweet. Oh, smart person. Yeah. Just to give you a little background, if you didn't know, but the first two months, she was like the most colicky, I mean, I have nothing to compare it to because this is her first child, but she was, if she was awake, she was just basically screaming. It's bloody murder. Yeah, for the first two, two and a half months of her life. And she is nothing like that now. Thank God. So she's feeling a lot better. Um, so there might be like kind of a few different angles to these questions, I guess. Um, okay, so first question. Do you feel closer to Kristen now or before the baby? I don't feel closer because now I'm outside of her. <laughs> these questions are for you. <laughs> oh. Um... I don't think anything's changed. I think we just have a new uh, project to focus on. <laughs> we got a new roommate to deal with. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, I mean, we can't just go out to the movies. We can't just go on a hike. We can't just go to the beach. Like it's- You're I getting mean, ahead of yourself. That's a different question. Oh. This one is, do you feel closer to me? Well, I'm, not I'm getting to that. I mean, it's because we're <laughs> like, I don't know. We just are kind of- I think they mean like emotionally, you know? Oh. <clears throat> Emotion? emotion? What, what? are emotions? <laughs> emotions? I feel, I mean, I know this isn't directed towards me, but like, I feel closer to you. Like, we've created like a human together. Like, I feel like that's something that I don't take lightly and I wouldn't have done just with anyone. And I think it's like special. Like, when I see her, I see you and me and mostly you. <laughs> I think that's true. I think that's true. I don't know. We both like are in it together to, in it to win it. It's kind of, yeah, I would say. <laughs> We're closer emotionally. Yeah. Um, next question. Do you view Kristen in a different light now after her giving birth to your child? Um, these are all questions for me. This whole video is about you. Oh, wow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Surprise. Like your least favorite thing ever. <laughs> I get to sit here and play with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the question again? Do you, you view me in a different light, I guess, now that I've given birth to, like, your child? Uh, yeah, I think, like, every day I'm more impressed. Like, I think it's kind of cool to see you, like, become a mom and do, I don't know. Mom stuff? Yeah, mom stuff. It's helping your patients. I think, like, I don't know. I think, it, yeah. I, I, yeah. See you more mom and harder and, you know. It is a new light, I guess, in general. It's like a new dynamic. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I sound like the caseworker from um, Beetlejuice. 
The one that smokes a lot and has the hole in her throat. Oh, yeah. Like, like Juno, the caseworker. That's yeah. kind of how I feel today. Um, how has it, being Harlow, affected your relationship dynamic? Be brutally honest about pros and cons. It? It. Uh, <laughs> um. That's kind of more about, like, you know, a lot of questions, too, were about, like, how do you find time to, like, have sex and, like, you time and, like, us time and, like, whatnot? And, like, how has it changed our relationship? Like, um, I don't know. I think it, same kind of like earlier, like, it gives us both something to focus on, kind of work together on. So I think it just makes it stronger. Um, I think, yeah, I think, like, um... I think that having a baby for certain relationships is a really is something that you really I, I would say most relationships you really need to figure out like a good time not that there's ever going to be a perfect time but like it does add a lot of stress and I'll just say like being with someone in the past who had totally different ideas about how they were going to raise a child than me and my morals were different and everything like that like that would have been a disaster and that would have been like that there would have been a lot of cons to that um but you and I like I think we I don't think, I know that we share a lot of the same, like, expectations of parenthood and, like, um, how to whip this little one into shape and everything and, like, but I think it's, it's been challenging at times, you know, to try and find a balance of, like, because I'm here a lot with her and he'll be gone at work for four days or something and I've, like, discovered something new and so I'm, like, not trying to, like, step on toes and, like, tell him what to do necessarily, but just kind of let him in on the secrets that I've figured out and it's kind of a... I have to be careful with it because I don't want to be like bossy or like overbearing or anything. I do feel like I backtrack sometimes. Like I went off work for like a week now because we went to Disneyland. Ooh, Disneyland. And got sick. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I feel like I know where we're at with her. But I think when I go, yeah, I go to work for like three or four days and I come home and she's, every day is different. And different. I come home and she's completely different. And I don't, you know, backtrack a little bit. That's a question actually on here too. Um, but like relationship dynamic, obviously, like you were kind of talking about before, like before we just like decided we wanted to go shooting and like we'd go shooting and like even when I was pregnant, we were like, let's go shooting. It's like, oh wait, we can't. Um, so I think because we only have a babysitter like six or seven hours a week, um, thank goodness grandparents come into town. Um, one is here right now and it makes it, it's amazing. Like I got to sleep in this morning, like ugh, amazing, but it does change the dynamic um, in a lot of ways of like just being able, you and I being able to go do things like alone and mm -hmm. like have alone time like dinner like we just sit at the bar we can't really sit at the bar anymore so um, um, unless you're at Star Trek <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome um, insert a little picture here yeah <laughs> I, at the bar <laughs> I'll, um, before this so right now there's already the vlog up of our um, trip to Disneyland that was super fun so I'll link it for you guys if you want to check it out but that was cool um all the guys like love he was wearing the baby bjorn that's like leopard print i'm like everyone loves that. <laughs> sick baby carrier bro like yeah <laughs> so hard. i think it's like i pros i would say that we have a, a fun project to work on um project being the baby i guess and like i don't know i'm answering your questions sorry guys but i feel like that was kind of like directed to both of us yeah all right um do you guys plan for more babies see see how many babies do you want Six to nine. His favorite number is 69. <laughs> Honestly, after you've had the one now. I don't know, I mean, just play by ear. Like, have another and see where it goes, and have another and see where it goes, and have another and see where it goes. Which brings me to another question. Are y'all still trying without trying, like, sex without protection? <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, basically we're not, I'm not on birth control or anything like that. I kind of just figured it would happen when it happened. I've been We've tracking been kind of avoiding the ovulation, period. ovulation periods, but uh, it's kind of funny because we did talk about before we had her, we were like, okay, like four or five months, we're going to start trying again. And I am not quite there yet. Um, I need to solidify some child care help in the home, um, prior to doing so. Um, oh, somebody's like got throw up coming out of her mouth. Are you pooping? Oh, no, that was very concentrated. Uh, Is that hard to poop when you're on dad's knee? Okay, we gotta change your whole outfit and hold it. Row, 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 row. Um, did you find sex uncomfortable while I was pregnant? How was that for you? 
<laughs> Earmuffs. Um, I found it uncomfortable. You just gotta try different things. And like I don't know. You just kinda, did you yeah. like find like the belly like like how did you feel about that? Because obviously, well, I, was, I shouldn't say obviously you've never had sex with someone pre that's pregnant. I don't know that, but I don't actually want to know the answer to that, so don't say anything. But um, for with me, like, <laughs> did you find that like? Hard to maneuver around. Was it a turn on, a turn off? Like indifferent? Like a... indifferent? Yeah. I don't think it wasn't. I wasn't like, yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> but I wasn't like, God damn, pregnant. Like, I don't yeah. Know. I was uncomfortable. Like I literally was like a beached whale on the bed, and I was just like, do your thing. Like I'm just gonna be here, and I had no energy either. So there was a point in time when we were in Mexico where I was like horny all the freaking time. Like you were like napping, and I was like going at it. <laughs> Which where when? In Mexico. Which where? Cuchamita, Conrad. Remember where they had the dyed grass? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like passed out. Like you passed out in the middle of our sexual activities. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and I just um, did my thing. And I just. She's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to feel connected to baby? This is hard because like with her, she was super colicky, so. Like I talked about this recently too, where people are like, oh, like you're gonna fall in love immediately. And everyone's like, posts that are like, we're so in love. And I just looked at all those and I was kind of like, really? Like I didn't feel that right away, personally. It's I feel like I felt it right away. And then, <laughs> and then for two months we were like, what the heck did we do? Like, I mean, she was pretty, I, like, she's not exaggerating, it was pretty gnarly, like, it was, oh, you were either sleeping, eating, or screaming, and not crying, and, screaming, and, and it during was, eating, too, it was, yeah. like, I was trying to breastfeed, and it was just, like, she was just screaming and kicking, and it was just, like, I'm trying so hard to breastfeed and do all this stuff, speaking of which, I need to do a breastfeeding video, because I feel like it'll be comforting for a lot of, like, new moms or moms-to-be to, like, tell you what it's, like, really could be like for you, um, Maybe not, but hopefully not. But yeah, it, it was rough. But then after, after Germany, when she kind of like changed, mellowed out a little bit. Yeah, we switched to like switched her diet basically, and then she all of a sudden was like this, and then I was. The only like, time oh, she cries bad. really is when she's tired. Yeah, and she smiles a ton. Like she's very happy, very smiley. She got that from him because I was not a smiley baby like at all. I would just stare at people like, "What the fuck are you looking at me?" <laughs> yeah. Dad's happy. Yeah. I'm afraid to ask you this, but you can answer freely. Um, did Kristen's temper change better? <laughs> Why would you be afraid to ask me that? Cause like, I feel like I, the first few months were very challenging and I still go through moments right now where I feel like I, I'm just frustrated cause I don't have like enough time to myself these days with you being gone at work and only getting like six to seven hours of help a week. <laughs> When grandparents are here, of course. I don't think it changed. I think it was different, but I don't think it, I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but. I feel like I've been like shorter with certain things. Yeah. Um, and I would say a lot of it, a lot of it was like tax related and stresses, but um, also being a new mom is stressful and then having less time is stressful. And then straight up your hormones are just like kind of on the fritz for like the first year after you have a baby. Like I'm breaking out right now. Like I have never, I haven't had acne this bad since my twenties. And every time I'm on my period, like today is my first day, my acne is like out of control. Um, Stand up for us. So personally, like, I feel like my, like, my temper, my fuse is a little bit shorter with my hormones being different. Um, and not necessarily with her, I think more so, like, with him. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, tired baby. So we have been going to counseling and everything, um, and it has, it does really help. Like, because there's certain things that, like, kind of set me off that he does that he doesn't realize he's doing and vice versa. So. Oh, tired girl. Mm. Should we put, you want to bounce in the baby Bjorn? You want to bounce, bounce? Put her in there and see if she wants to bounce. You want to bounce, baby? You just go bounce, bounce. You just go bounce, bounce. One thing that you must get if you're having a baby or going to a baby shower and it's something that you can afford, buy it used if not, but is the baby Bjorn bouncer. That thing has been legitimately, I need to do like my, 
I postpartum favorites and stuff, but from day one. You did really? Yeah, remember, I was like, "This thing is awesome. This is gonna be like the best thing ever." I wasn't impressed with it right away until she started to learn how to bounce herself, and it, like we took it on to Germany with us. We took it in ho at ho like used in hotel Comes rooms. Everywhere. Like it literally goes everywhere. Like when we're sitting outside, she's in that outside. Like when I'm cooking up here, she's on the counter in it. Like it's great. She can entertain herself and see. Anne's comfy. <coughs> Good. Yeah. Hey, baby. Um, did sex feel the same, better, or worse after? He had like a timer going for six weeks, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and every time he said something shitty, I'd be like, make it seven, <laughs> make it eight. I was just kidding, but. <laughs> you were kidding the whole time? Yeah. I needed sex too. <laughs> um, I think it felt the same. I, I don't know. I think your body's pretty bounced back well. Like the first time after, did it feel different for you? Because I had stitches. I tore to a two. I think it's hard. I mean, I got six in six weeks. So it was like, I was longer than that. Because like the last... I would probably... Like anything would have felt good? Like fucking a paper bag would have felt <laughs> <laughs> Just hard to, hard to compare. I don't know. It's, it's not like, I don't know. It's just hard to compare because it was so far, like far apart. I don't know. Yeah, and I feel like we didn't have sex a whole lot while I was pregnant because I was yeah, just so. either really grumpy or it was uncomfortable. Um, do you get jealous of Kristen's attention since babies need a lot of attention? Apparently, this is this got asked a few times. Um, I, apparently, it's a common thing that like dads get like jealous of like the attention. I could never see you being that person at all, and no, he doesn't at all. <laughs> I feel like you could be like, I know, go play with her a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a lot of attention. <laughs> Just in the beginning, I guess. Do you, did you always picture yourself marrying a famous person? So famous. <laughs> On our first date, he goes, laughed at me and was like, you do like social media and all that for a living? And I was like, well, no, I'm an entrepreneur. I own a business. I think they're asking you. Because <laughs> of me. Let's just put it this way. When we go out to public, who knows more people? You do. I have more fans. Built-in brotherhood, I guess, at work. I literally have no friends. Or yeah. for friends. So, what do you think? What Did you picture yourself marrying a famous <laughs> person? I definitely always pictured myself marrying someone that was like extroverted and had a lot of friends. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't meet his friends right off the bat and he doesn't like have a lot of them, red flag. Like, we'll go... Like, we were at the Jack Daniels distillery and... Lynchburg, Tennessee, like, I don't know what the first like, year we <laughs> she met. She took her sock off and she's holding, <laughs> it her, like, holding her foot in the other. And I like ran into guys from like the department next door and you didn't see anybody that was a fan of yours. So I get DMs later and they're like, I saw you. I had more fans at Disneyland. I had more fans. I, I'm irrelevant now. Nobody you know, gives a shit. Yeah, big obviously. deal. Big deal. No, but seriously. Did you imagine yourself marrying someone that like vlogs their whole life and like? No. No, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't even. I was just gonna spend the rest of my life in my little condo in Cardiff alone. Condo? Oh god, it's so cute. <laughs> More like a shoebox basement turned apartment. <laughs> Do you feel guilty going to work for several days? Mm, yeah. Uh, not while I'm at work, but usually like when I get back. She handles it pretty well. You, you, you handle your shit and get stuff done around here. Um, but I definitely do feel like, um, I feel, it's a couple things. Like I feel like I'm missing out on stuff because she's cute and she's doing fun stuff and changing and I'm missing it in person. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> yeah, you got stuff to do and it's not like I can watch the kid. I don't know, stuff needs to be done around the house. Like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any words of advice for like other dads who are maybe like in the, in the you know, not, I shouldn't say, not, I meant to say, I was going to say in the service industry, but I don't mean like bartending. I mean like first responders, Marines, Nate, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, any words of advice? Yeah. Just be a man. <laughs> it's like that one. Like, just do what you do, 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 be a dad, like, do dad stuff. I don't know, like, it's heard stories on both sides, guys being really good and guys being really bad, but, like, just do this, like, pick up the slack, like, 
you need to, like, like when sh we try and do it where, like, cause I don't get a lot of sleep at work and I pretty much get wake ups all the time at work, which sucks. And then I come home and I try and give her a break cause she's getting wake ups with the baby. And so I try and give her a night's sleep. And so it just kind of leaves me with wake ups every single night. Unless we have, <laughs> unless we have grandparents um, in town. I have to say, I, I'm pretty sure I take most nights when you're here. I think you've only taken her two nights. Now that you yeah. go back to work. So. This past week, you've t you've taken them, but I also like meant I was like, I got up a couple, couple times to do it, but you're already out yeah. faster than me. Well, I mean, I would just say like most of the time, like I have the monitor because I know yeah. that he has a hard time going back to sleep, and that you, it's your one day bad, off bad, in between bad, bad. two working days where you've gotten yeah, no sleep and well, gotten no sleep, and I've gotten no sleep, but like you, have, you, your job is dangerous. So. If it's my for a while there, we were doing it where it was like, it was my off days and I wasn't going to work the next day or coming back from work that I would take it. Cause that way I could either catch up on sleep or get ready for the ass kicking I was about to get at work. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just be a man, do this stuff. Like, I don't know, like I, like I was, I get good advice from uh, one of the guys at work who was basically like, let your wife feed and, and do the breastfeeding stuff cause that's what you do and just change the diapers like the diapers need to be changed get up and change the diapers like do everything else that you can possibly do and let you do kind of the stuff that only you can do and yeah i don't know i just try and i i'm a i'm a i always want to be the hardest working guy in the room so even if i don't know i want to do this i already i'm already 51 percent more you know what i mean like i want to do i just want to uh, carry as much weight as i can i guess so i don't know She's so loud. Do you got something to say? You got no, something to I say? just thought you guys were just over there jaw jacking. I want a jaw jack too. Yeah. Um, did you want a boy or a girl first? Yeah. Um, did you want a boy or a girl first? <laughs> Hard out. Uh. Carlita Panchita. <coughs> uh, it sounds cliche. I just wanted a healthy baby, 10 fingers, 10 toes. I, mean, I didn't. You thought I wanted a boy. I, I literally just wanted a healthy baby. And hindsight 2020 from everything that I've heard from everybody else, I'm actually really glad we had a girl first because if we do have more, allegedly they're more mothering and they help take care of the kids where like boys are just like, yeah, bull in a china shop. Like they just want to like break shit and dig, dig holes, which is totally cool, but it's nice having her first so that when we grow up more she's like the babysitter grown up mom older sister yeah and you will be yeah yeah <laughs> uh what are some things you appreciate about about Kristen? i did not put this question in there but i appreciate <laughs> it <laughs> i could use a little bit of that um everything i don't know she's a, Hard working mama, she's like always everything. I don't know, she's always always helping with the kid, always helping me with stuff. I don't know, I think you're kind of an anomaly <laughs> as far as Aww. women go. I think you're, I don't know, you kick ass and take names, and yeah, I appreciate it. Everything you do. Aww, I love you. Oh, me too. It's only lip oil on my lips, by the way. <laughs> How's couples counseling going? Good. Last time we were there, the, the counselor was like, because we were talking to each other, and she's like, is this how you guys talk to each other at home? And I was like, yeah, unless one of us is like super pissed off or something, which I feel like doesn't happen that often. And she's like, so, and I'm, she's like, so why are you sitting on my couch right now then? She's like, basically just come in for tune-up uh, appointments when you want, but really don't see why you're here. <laughs> you want that? Yeah, good. I'm good at communicating. Yeah, we, we're good. Um, do you feel disconnected sometimes uh, with being at work so much? Uh, what was it like watching your wife's body change from pregnancy? From pregnancy, like bouncing back? Well, just or like just all like of it, I think. Up? Like watching me get pregnant to then like not, like postpartum now, uh, my body really isn't a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? So when we were in Mexico, <laughs> we got in the car and 
spread it on. <laughs> this was like my best burn ever. <laughs> my legs were so so swollen. swollen. Do not go on your baby move too late. And it's a good thing I'm so funny because most guys I think would get punched in the face for saying this. No, we got it's the, so good that I have such a great sense of humor. Okay. And that too. And we got in the car, and I was like, ah, what was I? I don't remember. Oh, I got in the car, and I was like, what are you, what are you waiting for? She's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, come on, come on, Wilma Flintstone, come on, get no, those no, no, feet no, moving. No, no. No, I didn't even say anything that, about Flintstones. You said, all right, put us in reverse. And I, and I just, like, it took me a second, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's saying that I have fucking fat, Flintstone giant, feet. caveman Flintstone feet. <laughs> so it was, good, it was good, for, good for some jokes, but yeah. I don't know, whatever. Uh, uh, here's you were happy pregnant a couple mama. little. I was usually happy. Yeah. Um, uh, do you believe in religion? And if so, are you planning on raising her with it? Yeah. I grew up Catholic. I grew up Christian. I think it's, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's good for morals and values, and especially with the way the world is today, I think morals are kind of lacking in a lot of areas. I think uh, we get to raise her with some good morals. I think it steered me in the right direction. I don't know. I was kind of shit back as a kid, so <clears throat> I think it kind of helps out. Like every Sunday or like for holidays? Uh, we've had this conversation. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It kind of depends. Like, I don't know. She's a shit bag. Like, uh, maybe we'll go more. Like, I don't. I. I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's good either way in your life when you kind of choose to. Um, yeah, I don't know. How much you want to invest in it? I don't know. We'll have to see one time. Like, I. I think everybody kind of goes through that period when they're single and young in twenties, thirties, and they're like. I used to go to church every Sunday with my parents. Every single Sunday. And then I moved out of the house and I was like, I'm not going to spend my Sundays in church. Well, I'm over. Like, but now I have a family and that's kind of when everybody starts going back to church. And I think if we found a good church, I think it'd be, I think it'd be awesome. You're be working a lot of Sundays too. That's so the other thing too. Is my schedule we wouldn't, sucks, so but. like maybe when you're off, um, we can go. Shh. Good for I like, I love uh, your voice, honey. But it's so loud. And friends and people, like-minded people. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it teaches children good morals. Um, you know, I'm not the type of person that believes everything that's in the Bible. I think it was written by man, and I, I, you know, take from it what I need to like be a good person. I feel like so. I don't know if we'll like read the Bible at home or anything, but I definitely do think like learning those basic good morals and knowing that. Somebody's gonna hold you accountable one day, other than just your parents, is like a good concept. I dealt with a lot of death and like illness and like bad life, just tragedy, tragic life stuff when I was a kid. And I think religion helped me get through a lot of that stuff, at least yeah. accept and understand. And, um, yeah. You hungry? Yeah. Um, okay, so that's kind of like, um, someone said, uh, is it easier or harder than you thought it would be? That's a good one. And then I just have one more. And that's it. Uh, both. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like it, it's easier in some ways than I thought it would be. And it's hard. I feel like, oh, I don't know. For me overall, I think it's, it's both. I, yeah, I agree. It's both. It's, like the first two months, I was like, this is insane. I, it had, it had, this is not sustainable. Like that was harder. But then like stuff like this or like, I don't know, just like you were watching earlier, but like that day when I just like, I had to work on the truck and I just like put it in the baby Bjorn and went and worked on the truck. Like, and I was like, oh, this is whatever. You had her there next to you though, don't make me. <laughs> She's telling yeah. me yeah, yeah, left yeah. her inside the house alone. No, no. She was like next to me. I was working on the truck. Like It was cute. I got a picture I don't know. of it. I was kind of... She was watching you. Like, yeah, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. I can get a lot of shit done now. <laughs> like, get this figured out. Depends, so, like, what your baby's good with. Like, some babies, yeah. like, are okay sitting in, like, a backpack sort of thing or a sling. Because we have a, friend, a, group, a group of friends. I mean, a couple that they she, like, always has her baby in the sling. And, like, you don't even know he's there because he's always, like, sleeping while we would go out to dinner and stuff and wineries and whatever. And we're like, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Yeah. She has never been okay with that or into Until that. Until Disneyland. And now, uh, now I'm like, oh, dude, we can take her anywhere. Well, just, 
now strapped to my chest. <laughs> it's it's rad. different though because she can hold her head up now. When she yeah. couldn't hold her head up before, she, and she couldn't face inward. Like she wanted to see everything, and that's exactly how I was and still am. Like if I'm sitting in a restaurant, I have to be facing the door. So I'm kind of like that too. Um, um, okay, last question. Tips to help dad bond with and enjoy baby time. Anything uh, I can do to help him? She asks. I think that depends upon the person. I don't know. I think some dudes are just don't do babies. I, I'm totally fine with babies. I wouldn't say I'm like a baby fanatic. I mean, I'm a baby fanatic for Harlow, but like other babies, I'm like, oh. Yeah, you don't like hold them. I don't know. I think, yeah. You're great with kids, but yeah. I've never seen you like be like, oh, can I hold your baby? Like. Yeah, I like kids, but I'm not like, I need a baby to hold. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like if you give me your baby, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of your baby. Like, this not. is good bonding. I yeah. Think. Feeding. I don't know, I think it depends upon the person, but, um... Skin to skin time is good yeah. to shower um, with her, bath with her, pool with her. Yeah, we spend a lot of good time with her. We did, you know, we've done... I don't know, we do all kinds of cool shit together, I feel like. I don't know, I can't wait till we can go, like, ride bikes and go skateboarding. I think baby wearing it could be a really good way to bond, too. Yeah. Um, and then just letting him fall asleep on you, and... I think you have to be, like, a secure... man. Like, I don't know, I could definitely see, like, some dudes being like, I'm not walking around Disneyland with a baby strapped to my back on a yeah, leopard print. Paper. Like, I'm like, I don't give a shit, I just want to spend time with my daughter. <laughs> just depends. Yeah, yeah, I think it just depends upon the guy and how secure they are with themselves, I guess. I, I think you picking her up um, in the morning is good, too. Like, I don't know, that's, like, some of my favorite moments is, like, kind of when she's waking up in the morning, we go pick her up out of bed, and she sees you for the first time in the morning, mm -hmm. and she just, like, lights up. Get the smiles. If your baby does that, which I'm sure that's so not sweet. a normal thing. She's a happy, happy, happy baby. Is that normal? Does your baby, I feel like it would be, but I don't know. Does your baby smile at you when the, when you go into their room and wake them up? What do you think? What advice would you give to new dads during labor? Prepare, prepare, prepare. Like over prepare. Bring everything. I like that. that's a good one. I think I did that for Germany. More more so that applies for Germany, but labor. I think it could have been better the labor and hospital part, but that was also kind of like thrown at us. Like, like we didn't even have time yeah. to prepare because everything was changing so fast. But our like, plan for that went out the freaking window. So if you haven't seen that and you want to see it, I'll link that for you too. But um, like make a list and do the thing and like get the shit together and get like for Germany. I feel like it was like on the plane and like we were like. I was just expecting like destruction and mayhem. So I'm like, extra this, extra that. We're talking about clothes. Germany, but we're talking about no. Labor. I know, but like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm applying it to labor. Oh, like, got it. I think okay. if you like extra clothes for mom, extra clothes for dad, extra clothes for the baby, extra diapers of all sizes, like all the food, like just over, like pack like your wife would, like over pack, bring like six of everything, and then like nine of the other things on that you don't even like, just bring everything that you don't think you need, and you'll probably end up needing it. And, I think um, another piece of advice that I really liked that you did is... Um, Buy chocolate for everybody on the plane. <laughs> we're not talking about the plane. <laughs> we're talking about labor. Nick asked me when we were driving there how he could, or even before I was in labor, I think, um, how he could support me during labor. Like, what, what do I want? Do I want him to talk to me a lot? Do I want him to not talk to me? Um, like, what I needed from him during labor. So I was able to, like, kind of say, like, I'll tell you what I want in the moment, but like X, Y, Z. And so, and it's, it'll be different than you even think it's going to be when you're in labor. So I think, you know, someone just not getting your feelings hurt. Someone gave me that advice. And yeah, I was like, basically like a, a month out, two weeks out, like ask your baby mama, like, <laughs> what do you, what do you want? Like, what do you, what do you, what are your, what are your expectations? And like, what can I, can I do to meet those expectations? Cause you may be way off. You may, I mean, I'm sure there's some girls that are just like, I don't want, I just don't, I don't need anything. They're probably lying, but like, I don't, <laughs> I don't need anything. Like just bring the stuff that I want you to bring out. Okay. But like, I need you to do, I don't know. It's just a good, opens a good line of communication. Indeed. We need to put this baby to sleep, but I think, yeah, I think that was good. Thanks for joining us on this video. Yeah. You're even more famous right now. I was pretty famous before, so. <laughs> My head getting too big.
Thanks for your questions, guys. Also, um, if you feel like it and your question didn't get question didn't get answered, feel free to leave another one in the comments, and we will answer it as best as we can. But we gotta put this little nugget to bed. She's literally about to fall asleep with a bottle in her mouth. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Later, nerds.